Hi, this is Sean. Welcome to GuitarReferenceGuide.com. Hope everybody's doing well. Very excited about today's lesson. I'm going to be doing Albert King's version of a crosscut saw. Now, this is coming off of the Born Under a Bad Sign album. I just put the album cover up right there so you can see it. This is a great version of this blues classic. Lots of times, if you go to open blues jams or you hear blues standards, this is one of the blues standards that you hear. A lot of people play. One of the things that's really one of the things that's really unique about it is the rhythm of the tune. It has a line to New Orleans style feel. It's also, or you can also call it a three-two sun clave. So it has that really cool rhythm, very different than a shuffle, and it gives it a, a real up tempo kind of swing to it. You know. So rhythmically, it's really fun to play through. Now, I'm playing it in B. So I'm playing a 12 bar blues in B. However, I am tuned down a f uh, one step and a half. So I'm tuned down a minor third. And I did that because lots of times his bends are pretty difficult. He'll use his index finger to bend up a whole step. Uh, so his style revolves around this kind of tuning. Now, if you want to play this in standard tuning, you could do everything I'm doing here, but you just do it down a minor third. So instead of playing a blues in B, in standard tuning, it would be a blues in the key of A flat. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through seven licks. I'm gonna go through the, the intro, and I'm also gonna take you through the rhythm, how to play the rhythm of the tune. And I've also created a PDF. You can click the link below and it's got all seven licks and it's got the chords. And I also created a jam track for you to practice over. So once you get down the intro, you can also, if you want to, you practice soloing. So this is a really, really fun song. This is Albert King at his finest. Uh, one of his big, biggest influences was on Steve Ray Vaughan. Lots of times you hear Steve Ray Vaughan's playing. You can hear him literally channeling the Albert licks. I mean, it's, it's incredible. His licks are just great. And although they may seem like they're simple because it's mostly all uh, B minor pentatonic, some minor third to major third stuff, to get the, the, the musical phrasing the way he does it, it really takes a lot of time. You know, he has, a, he has super great rhythm and a lot of attack and it's just extremely musical. So I hope you enjoyed my lesson. If you like what you see in this lesson, please subscribe, click the link below, check me out on Instagram. So uh, let's do this. Okay, lick number one is gonna come out of the B minor pentatonic scale. We'll play it, break it down. One, two, three. Pickups, one, two, three. And when you hit that 10th fret, you're gonna play slight and barely audible. One, two, three, seven, 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 ten. And that's lick number one. Lick number two. Okay, here I'm bending up a whole step. I'm going up to the 12th fret. Pull off, vibrato, ten on the seventh fret. Then I'm hitting 10 and 10. B in the high, so this is once again B minor pentatonic. And that's lick number two. Lick number three, we move up to the 12th fret. So this is classic Albert King. We're bending up a whole step from 12 to 14, but slowly. Then we're going to 10 to seven. It's classic box here. And that's lick number three, one more time. Lick number four. Okay, so for lick number four, I'm gonna play 12th fret, 10th fret, I bend up a whole step with my index finger. Then back to 10 to 12. Now two half step bends. With my index finger, I'm bending from 12 to 11. So like number four. And then vibrato on 12. 
12. Lick number five, my favorite lick of the bunch. Here we're playing the classic pentatonic box again, right here. Uh, okay, so I'm playing 9, oh, 9-11, and then right after that, I go to 12. on the G string and the B string. Then the second half of the lick, we're going to go 12, 10, 10, 12, 11, 10, 11, 9. So the whole lick together. Lick number five. Lump number six. So here we're sliding from nine to eleven. Uh, no, sorry, nine to eleven to twelve. Then index fingers on the tenth fret. We're bending up a whole step again with our index finger. Back to ten to, to twelve. Now to 10, up a half step bend twice again, like the other leg. To 12, twice. So that's gonna be like this. And that's lick number six. Lick number seven. And that's like the turnaround leg. So here we're gonna slide from 12 to 10 to uh, seven, nine, seven, nine, 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 seven. This is all minor pentatonic. That's lick number seven, the turnaround lick. So now I'm gonna play through the whole thing really slowly from start to finish. And that is Crosscut Saw. Okay, the rhythm guitar part. This is a 12 bar blues in B. Mind you, we're tuned down, like I said earlier, a step and a half. So this is really like a 12 bar blues in A flat if you were looking at the actual tone of it. But we're gonna look at it as being B, because we're tuned down. Okay, so the rhythm is gonna be like this. That's the piano part. Now what I'm doing is I'm adding a little flurry of notes. So instead of just playing it straight, up, 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 I'm adding down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, 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 up, up, down, up. Here, playing a regular B7 chord. Do this twice. Move my pinky over to make a B13 chord. Pinky comes off. Now I'm gonna come down to the E9 chord. Same rhythm here. Four. Now on the on the, the opening track you heard I play like this. And then I slide up to the F sharp nine. Back to the uh, B7, but I'm adding the sus4 here. I'm taking it off halfway through the strum. 
down, down, up, down, pinky comes off, up, down, up. I'm adding my pinky, the ninth fret of the G string, that turns this into a B, seven sus four. Now, I go to the F sharp nine chord, back to the E nine chord, and then I'm back to the B seven. And then the whole thing just repeats. So you have your straight 12 bar, in, uh, in the key of B, um, and it has that special clave, that really cool rhythm that gives it that New Orleans kind of feel.